Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Uh, I'm out at the Snake River Canyon at Dedication Point right now, and I'm actually right on the edge of the canyon. I'm gonna turn the camera around here so you can kind of see exactly where we are, kind of look over a little bit. So you can see we are exactly uh, right on the uh, edge of the canyon. Let me get that camera replaced. Uh, and I have the uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro perfect drone for this kind of flight uh, and I've got the DJI RC. It's a pretty warm day today. I'm going to guess, uh, I'll, I'll check on UAV forecast here, but I'm going to guess high 70s and there's a fairly good breeze going. Uh, so uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we're going we're gonna to take this guy up in the air and just have a little fly about. It's, it's a, like I said, it's just a beautiful day at the canyon and again, I'm right on the edge. So We'll, uh, we'll just look around here a little bit, and I'm not even going to do a screen recording. As you guys know, typically I do a screen recording and I show you uh, what I see on the, uh, on the screen. But you've seen that before, so we're just going to focus on video this time. So uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, you should be able to see the drone. I'm getting it fired up right now. Hey, one of the things I did there, I've told you guys before to use this piece of foam to keep the camera straight. And my friend Ron Brown has the same issue. There's a downside. What happens is I always forget and I leave it in the drone and I get that gimbal overloaded warning. Okay, it looks like we're good to go. We're gonna shoot in 4K 30 frames per second so that we have access to uh, digital zoom. Let's go ahead and start recording now. And uh, let's, do, eh, let's do an automated takeoff and let's see what this guy will do on the app. Take off. And, and there it goes. Yeah, it says Bluetooth is automatically uh, disconnected. Let me turn it around. The drone is actually, uh, there must be an updraft right next to the side here because the drone is moving around quite a bit. So let's drop that camera down and, and we'll, do our, we'll do our droney here real quick. I'm gonna stop recording on the, uh, well, we'll, do, we'll wait just to say, I was gonna stop recording on the action too, but we might as well uh, catch the uh, catch the droney here. So uh, reverse and up now. Reverse and up. And there we go. And you can see where I'm at here. Lots of ravens uh, running around by the uh, by the side of the cliffs here. What a view that is, huh? Okay. We are going to uh, turn actually into the sun here, and let's uh, let's pick that camera up. And I am going to uh, half press on the shutter button to uh, make sure we get uh, a uh, uh, get focused, focused on infinity there. Kind of the easy thing to do. And we're going to go sideways uh, out into the canyon. And by the way, I just have the uh, regular battery in it. I don't have the extended battery. And I did use this battery to do a firmware update, so uh, you know we may not get uh, a super long flight out of this, but uh, you know I'm sure it's going to be plenty enough. So let's see, we're about 50 meters high. We don't need to be that high. Let's drop this guy down, and let's start moving forward, and let's just go up river here. This is in normal mode. Uh, we're at about 10 meters per second. And I'm going to stop recording on the uh, action camera. There's no point in having it record a bunch of nothing. And uh, yeah, we'll keep moving forward here. Uh, yeah, let's let's drop down a little bit. I've got a straight shot at the drone. We should actually be able to get into negative uh, altitude here. Seven meters, four meters. Yeah, let's get down. Yeah, now we're in negative altitude, and again, I am uh, I am pointed right at the drone, and I'm going to put my I stop for a second. I'm, I've got my map. I want to get the attitude indicator going here, and you know it's not showing me much, and the reason it's not is because we don't have. Uh, that's the problem with this. One of the downsides of this RC is that you don't have. Uh, a, a cellular connection. I assume that's why I'm not uh, seeing exactly uh, where I'm at. 
So that has implications. I'm just thinking this through. That has implications for remote ID. I wonder how they're going to solve that. And obviously a sub 250 gram drone is not required to have remote ID unless you use it for commercial purposes. And then it's just like any other drone and it is. So let's, we can get down lower. When I just about tripped, I'm uh, right on a rock here. Let's see how low we can go here. And by the way, the drone, you don't need to worry because the drone will uh, uh, go up in uh, my, <laughs> hang on just a second here. My watch kept beeping at me, so I had to, had to shut it down there. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're 60 meters negative altitude. Let's see how, how low we can go here. And I'm pointed right at the drone with the controller. So, so we've got, that's the cool thing about being, uh, next to the uh, next to the edge of the canyon is that you can get a clear shot whereas if i'm in my usual spot that i fly from here i would be trying to shoot through terrain so kind of cool we can kind of get uh, we can kind of get up close and uh, let's see if we can get 100 meters down into the canyon here 90 there's 95 i'm going to slow down yeah it's not letting me get any lower than that for some reason i'm holding the stick straight down so I don't know if it's, uh, if maybe that's something in the firmware. I'm gonna stop right here for a second. And let's see, I'm holding the stick straight down. Oh yeah, there we can. Okay, there's 100 meters. That's what I did. I wanted to get over 100 meters uh, into the canyon. And again, I, I have no fear. I've got a straight shot at the drone where I'm standing here. Let's, uh, let's I think we should go up, the, uh, up and over the side of the uh, canyon. And I would like to get up close and personal, but we will get blocked uh, as we get closer to the canyon. So I'm gonna start raising an altitude as we go. So we're starting to pick it up. And, uh, and as we get higher, uh, we'll get over the top of the, uh, of the edge of the canyon. And we're, you know, we're still 90 meters negative altitude. Uh, and you know, this is just a little sub 250 gram drone. I'm just, yeah, and it's telling me weak signal. So I'm going to go straight up, guys. I'm, I'm going to back it up. Yeah, not connected. So we actually lost connection there. So it'll go, uh, it, it should rise in altitude here. Yeah, okay, so it, it's, we got control again. So I stopped it. Let's turn it around. And, and that's uh, the function that you just saw just then was the drone, when it loses connection, it backs up 50 meters before it rises in altitude. But we're in a spot now we've got connection again, which is perfect. That's what you want it to do, right? And we're getting altitude again, and we'll get above uh, the edge of the canyon. So I'm going straight up. And how much battery we have? Oh, we got plenty of battery, 67%. And uh, yeah, there you get a good look at the side of the canyon. And it, yeah, so now we're, we're above the edge of the canyon or above uh, our takeoff point. So we can start moving forward here. Man, is this cool or what? Look at this, guys. Yeah, let's go over the, let's go over the uh, top of the edge of the canyon here. And I was hearing a beeping and it kind of uh, startled me, but that is simply my, uh, my GoPro closing down. God, everything's beeping at me, my watch, my... So we're by the side of the canyon here. Let's move forward and uh, see if we can get our bearings here. I'm pretty sure I know where we're at here. Yeah, is this is the, uh, this is either the turnaround for the trail that goes into the canyon. Yeah, this is the turnaround for the trail that drops into the canyon. So there's a spot right here, uh, and I've seen people do it, but I'm not sure you'll ever catch me doing it. But if you look right here, there's a trail that just drops down into the canyon. And I've seen a guy and his dog walk that trail before, but I'm just not so sure I'm, uh, I'm, that, I'm that brave. Uh, but this is kind of a neat view, isn't it? And then if we get further down here, we'll see the spot uh, 
there is a, it looks like a compass, but I think it dates back to years and years ago. Uh, you know, possibly even a hundred, over a hundred years ago when they had mail planes and it, it was kind of a, a marking that uh, allowed the airmen to just visually see where they were at and it would point them towards Boise. Yeah, I think that's what we're coming up on right here. And we can see the trail. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what that is. So we're going to spin around to the side of it and get you a good look at it. And uh, yeah, so uh, whoops, I need to, I'm getting a little remote control issue here because I'm, uh, I'm kind of behind some rocks. So I'm going to move to a little different location here where I can get a better shot at the drone. And so let's see. So if you look at that compass, yeah, and it looks like, uh, so that arrow on the end points towards Boise and somebody, that arrow is back. Somebody had taken that arrow down and that arrow is gone. And oh, look at this. Here, here's a nice message. It says, uh, uh, and it's, it's changed. It, at one point it said, I love you, mom. So now uh, it looks like somebody's moved these rocks around and it says, I love you, Edie Wells. Well, uh, it looks to me like Edie Wells is well loved. Let's, uh, let's gain some altitude here. Move right over the top. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you can kind of see the whole situation there. And I think that compass looking thing was for uh, airmen to, uh, like I said, it points almost directly towards Boise. I don't know that that arrow is exactly north, uh, but uh, you know, let's see if we can take a couple pictures. Stop recording. Okay, let's, uh, let's head back over the side of the canyon. We're down to 43% battery, picking up the camera now. And there is the edge of the canyon. This is one of my favorite views right here. And let's just go right along the edge here. Drop some altitude, pick that camera up. And uh, and then we'll just uh, we'll just continue along the uh, along the edge here and uh, go the other direction for a little bit until we get down to uh, I don't know 30 percent or so on the battery. Then we'll bring it on back. So just a word about the uh, DJI RC controller. I have a perfectly clear view here even in the bright sun, and it is a very bright sunny day today. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the day when uh, every drone, and the drone's right over the top of me right now, uh, where every, uh, every drone comes with uh, this kind of a controller on it. Uh, but, uh, man, we're sure getting some great views here. If you look on the edge of the canyon right there, that is another spot that I like to, uh, well, I need to go up there and fly. I've flown from there before, but I need to hike back out there someday soon and take another flight. Uh, people hike all the way along around the rim of this canyon. Again, this is uh, Bureau of Land Management manages this property. So, pretty cool. Let's go over the edge again. And look at that. Let's get a let's get a look down on this. Uh, there, you know, evidently there was a slide here at one point, and is that dramatic or what? Holy cow! Way down there. What an amazing little. Uh, you know, the viewpoint that you get, uh, the point of view, I should say, or perspective that you get with a flying camera is just amazing. 
So you guys may have remembered uh, the other day I was with the Air 2S and that's kind of the end of the line. I was right above it. I'm putting the center of the camera right where I was parked. So that the center of the screen right there is right where I was parked the other day when I was flying the, uh, the Air 2S. Okay, we're down to 33%. Let's uh, bring this guy around. And just for the fun of it, let's uh, let's throw it in sport mode, and uh, and see how we can uh, see how quick we can get it back here. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll do a return to home. Maybe we'll just fly it back. Let's drop that camera back down. Up oh, there, we I was pointed the wrong direction, and I kind of lost connection there for a second. That was my fault. I was pointed away from the drone. Okay, we're in. Uh, Sport mode now, so uh, we are coming back at about, yeah, 12 meters per second. It's going against the wind, coming back to us here. And I see, uh, it might have just taken a second. I see I've got my, uh, uh, the, the attitude indicator uh, is showing uh, where our home point is here. And you can see what I'm doing there. If I... If I point that little arrowhead, the triangle, straight towards the H, the drone is going to come right back to me. So now everybody knows I like to use return to home. It's an automated feature. It's fun. You you know, uh, you can't do it with this drone, but like with the Mini 2, you can yaw the drone around and look at things while it's on its way back. This guy, you need to, uh, you can you can move the camera up and down, but when you have it in return to home, it is, it's it's on that spot and that's where it goes. So we're going to bring it back right now. Hello. And here we are right here. In fact, I am going to start the, uh, the uh, Action 2 camera again. Whoops, I need to fire it back up. Low battery returned home. No, let's cancel that for now. And we're going to start this camera. And I'm hoping you can see the, uh, the landing pad there. <laughs> let's, anyway, let's bring it back. The drone is wanting to come home awful bad. Let's put it in uh, cinema mode, as a matter of fact. And the drone, you can see me standing there. I'm hitting, uh, hitting way on the down stick. Uh, that lady on the trail there is who I was just uh, saying hello to just a second ago. And here's the little drone coming right at me. Yeah, what a cool little drone, huh? And this is in cinema mode. Let's turn the guy around. And you, you'll get to see the obstacle avoidance is kind of freaking out here. It wants to, it wants to land awful bad. It's down to 15% battery. You know, I'll tell you, I think DJI has that set way too low. Let's go in and turn obstacle avoidance off. We're going to go off so we don't get that anymore. And uh, let's bring this guy down. And it's still beeping. And again, I've told you guys many times, my uh, uh, depth of field or uh, depth perception is not very good. But I think, you know, I'm looking at the drone. I think I'm pretty close right there. Let's pull down on the down stick. Let me kick that camera up a little bit. And down on the down stick. Straight down. Yeah, there we are. We're on the pad. Uh, okay, let me get it shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you is you always want to for, uh, remember to stop recording. Uh, just like that. Uh, that way you don't corrupt a file. What happens is if you power off the drone before you stop recording, it does not close out the file. Uh, and I've said this many times, but I like to repeat it. If that happens to you, if you inadvertently shut down the drone before you stop recording, it's very easy to recover. Simply turn the drone on again, do another really quick recording, just a one second or two second recording, shut that down, and that will close out both files, and then your file is won't be corrupted. So just remember that. You're, it's not a disaster if you forget, but uh, it's a good thing to do. Just remember to shut off recording before you shut off the drone. Hey, okay guys, uh, the DJI Mini 3 Pro 
Uh, what a wonderful, versatile little drone that th this guy is. Uh, a couple of things that I noticed on this flight is, you know, I took off right next to the edge of the canyon and the, the drone was moving around a little bit. Well, no question, there's an updraft coming off the side of the canyon and that definitely affected the drone. It wasn't enough that they couldn't handle it just fine, but that's just an observation. Uh, and today is a beautiful day. What a fun day to be uh, out here flying around. And uh, we looked as much on the side of the canyon as we did down in the canyon. One of the cool things, and uh, I got to give credit to uh, Ted Bowman. When I was out here with him, he flew his drone way down in the canyon. And what I realized then was, and I've tried it before and I wasn't successful. It's because I was further in and I was blocked. The signal was blocked by terrain. When you're standing right on the edge of the canyon, you're not blocked by terrain and you can point your uh, remote right at the drone and you can go down. We went over a hundred meters negative into the canyon, which I thought was pretty cool. We came back out, we looked at the uh, at the compass, the rock compass that's on the side of the canyon there. Uh, there's been some changes there, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, then we flew it back the other direction and brought it back in, uh, and landed it. So yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, I had a lot of fun on this flight. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I absolutely appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we will see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Mini 3 Pro, just an awesome piece of tech. Hey, just for the fun of it, Hey, I'm going to throw a little bonus footage. So you guys that stayed to the end, you, you're going to see some, some stuff here. We're going to uh, take the camera and kind of show you the edge of the uh, canyon here. So this is Dedication Point. And, you know, like I said, it's one of my favorite places to fly. There's, I'll show you the park bench up here. That's usually where I take off from. This is kind of down in a hole where, where I have the landing pad here. Uh, but it's, uh, it's still a great place to fly from. And uh, yeah, you can see over the edge there, it's straight down. And then, you know, I've told you about that trail that goes down the side of the canyon. There's another look at it. And I've seen guys walking down there and you can see where the trail ultimately comes down and they goes down and they can go clear down to the, uh, to the river down there. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's just, let's just continue walking up here. Uh, by the wall, the rock wall, which is pretty cool. And uh, they do have little uh, display boards that uh, tell you about the, about the raptors uh, that are here, of course. And uh, if you would like, you can freeze frame on that so that you can read all that stuff. Let me get up close. You can freeze frame there and take a look if you wish. Uh, and then uh, on down the wall here. And I've shown some of this before, but I don't think quite in this way. So uh, yeah, here it is. So that bench right there is typically where I set up because it's a good place to set all your stuff down and there's a flat spot to put a landing pad, etc. And that is a dedication monument right there. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, and, and I have shown that before. And uh, again, here it tells about the uh, falcons, the peregrine uh, peregrine falcons that, uh, you know, they eat a lot of ground squirrels and stuff here. There's all kinds of raptors. And oh, I'm looking at this thing. God dang it, there's bullet holes. And you can tell if they're from the bottom because you look, I'm just telling you, people are, man, that makes me angry. Uh, you just got to wonder the mentality of somebody that thinks that's a great idea. Plus, how did they know that somebody wasn't standing up here when they're shooting from down there? That really makes me angry. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's head on down here. Uh, and this tells about the uh, geology of the canyon. And let me hold this up. And hopefully you can, uh, you can freeze frame on that and read it if you wish. It's pretty cool information. And let me shoot back the other way here so you can see. And you can see where this rock wall goes. Now let's turn around and what you're looking at up here, that is the original dedication point rock wall that they built. Uh, and I'd have to climb up there to get to that. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, and there, look at, there's a, there's a raven right there flying by. There are tons of ravens here. They nest all over. 
uh, in, these, in these cliffs, and you just see them all over the place. Uh, those rapids down there are a pretty cool uh, little deal. I Actually, when I had the Mini 2, I was down in the canyon, and I got really close and flew over those rapids. Uh, anyway, just a fun spot to fly a drone. I promised you I'd show you the, uh, the dedication plaques here, so let's go on up and, and see those. And, you know, I'm holding the camera up here so you can kind of see a little bit of the territory. There is, if you look off in the distance there, there's kind of a little uh, kiosk or, or uh, you know, shelter or whatever you want to call it. And I, that's set up, I think, so that they can do uh, they can do talks and so forth about the raptors. There's tables, a table in there, and there's some benches, and I think that's what that's all about. And uh, you can see the trails going up the side of the canyon here. I've been up there before. I've actually flown from up there before. Uh, but here's the... Uh, the dedication plaques and let's see if I can get over the top so you can read and uh, there's that and then here's the other plaque and yeah so uh, yeah let's uh, man. I, I don't want you to miss anything, so let's walk out here to the old part so you can see that. This is the original walk ball, wall that they built before they, uh, before they upgraded it. And uh, yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty, much, pretty much the same thing, except for it's not smooth on top, you rock. Boy, look at this, look, look at this, uh, this is a, a Oh, look at that, and there's a, a, a raven right there. Yeah, and, and so uh, look at all the, uh, this lava collapse here, basalt uh, collapse. And that raven, I just watched him fly into the cliff face there, so he must, uh, he or she must have a nest there. Uh, and again, there's those rapids. Let's, uh, I'll walk along the edge here so you can see. Yeah, you can see a bunch of ravens there messing around off in the distance. They chase each other around a lot. Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Here's a couple of them right here. A couple of ravens. Yeah, three of them. They're probably curious about my stuff that I left over there. They're looking, well, what's this new stuff? Uh, seeing if it's good to eat, no doubt. Uh, but anyway, kind of cool to see where those rocks uh, slid and collapsed down there. And there's the uh, Snake River. So that's about it. And then again, there's that trail that goes along the edge. So, uh, yeah. Uh, kudos to you folks that stayed for the bonus content. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.